So let's see the main page, the main feature. Okay, so we have uh, a place the where we can track our money. So we see our balance and we can track expense and income. Okay, so you can add a new expense. Okay, this and you can add a new income. So basically your income okay and this is going to only show today okay so for example if i change the date you can see that this disappear and this setting make the main page very easy to navigate so every day you're going to start fresh you know so we have these four database Okay, so we have the daily focus, this is our daily planner database, then we have today task, this is our inbox agenda planner, okay, so we're going to track everything together, and then we have the brain dump where we can just capture idea or things that are not actionable, but, but we want to remember, and then we have the journaling, so we can journal each day and have all these organized in the template. So I'm going to show you uh, the journaling page. So we can create a new journal entry and this is, is going to open inside peak and we can add the gratitude. I'm grateful for today. We can add affirmation. I am powerful and daily win. So you can, you know, just uh, complete the journal in the evening. Then we have the brain up. So every day, like, uh, I want to to try uh, skateboarding. I don't know. I'm just inventing, and you can add a note, and you can, if you want, to remove from this page, like to archive it in the brain dump. You can access later. You're going to click here, dump it, and you're going to see clean page. Then we're today task. So basically, we can add the the powerful features about. Uh, notion that in my opinion make it superior to other digital planner is that all the database are interconnected and we can see the same database so the same item the same uh, list to do from multiple from multiple view so for example i can add a task for today okay and maybe i don't want to open the daily planner i want to just add a task and I need to uh, uh, do the laundry. You can see that you can select some basic uh, things. So for example, the type is going to already be like task, but you can change to, you know, if you have to remember something important or an idea, an event, a project stuff. Okay, so this, there are some tags you can organize. And then there is the task energy. So the task energy is, uh, and I added this icon, you can customize, uh, um, by the way, and I will, will show how to customize in another video. And you can add an energy level, so one, two, three, four, five, and you can add an emoticon. Emoticon, so laundry is going to task energy uh, even heavy. And as always, it's going to show the today. And if we just uh, reschedule it to, you know, I want to do in Sunday, it's going to disappear from there. Then we have what I think is the main feature of the template. There is the daily planner, so the daily focus, I call it. And you can add daily focus here. So we can add a new. And you can see there it's going to show today plan. And this is going to automatically rename it to the date. So uh, tomorrow this entry will be renamed to January 2, okay? And then we have the mood and the energy level as the task energy level. So maybe our mood, our mood is good today and our energy level is, I, I'm a pretty, feel pretty energetic. So I open it up, okay, open up as a page. And here is our today page. So I'm going to explain how this works. So at the top, you can see this is a little widget, with a widget 
we can you can customize you can also remove because all of these template is customizable cust you can customize the template so there are the time blocking so we want to schedule our our time our day then we have uh, self-care habits so this is, is the things that we want to do daily to care for us and there are some already um, set up but we, you can customize you can add your own then we have the focus of the day so basically this is just if you want to, to write a main focus for the like like uh, appreciate small things I don't know or you if, if you have uh, an overall theme like organize uh, my bird I don't know you cannot get that then we have uh, our people to respond if you need to you know to respond to Mark send message to mom what you need to do then we have a, um, a quick meal plan there is also a more uh, structured meal planner in uh, another section of the template and then we have this uh, database so boring but necessary reward myself after for later don't forget at the inbox it can seem like a lot, but basically boring but necessary inbox, don't forget for later, these are all view of the same uh, database. So these are different view of the task manager. Your task manager will, will work as your inbox, are your to-do list, are your agenda, you can track birthday, you can track uh, appointment, you can track deadline, you can do whatever you want from this single database and then you can filter okay in different ways and I'm going to show you the system. So basically there are boring but necessary are those tasks that we don't feel like doing but we should be doing so is like do the laundry uh call the insurance for example here um and and stuff like that and you want to be sure to don't add too many tasks uh, and to reward yourself after so there there is this little reward section that you can uh, use to kind of motivate yourself okay and then there is the inbox so basically the inbox is the access to the task manager the, the agenda the to-do list whatever you want to call it and you can click to view and the reason why i minimize it inside this toggle is that when you open the daily plan you probably don't want to be overwhelmed by all the tasks for all the day for all the the month because you can of course add task and appointment and event uh, for every day for each day and um, so you can toggle to view and there also are being you can see that you can filter even further and choose how to see your task so you can see your task by your inbox by task energy you can see by date okay if you add a date to it you can see by solve degree that this is basically a framework to prioritize when you have adhd so there is is explaining another section of the template but basically you have these four uh quadrants so you can have red kind red yellow blue and green uh, kind of uh, task and so for example blue are passive fun yellow are the things that are most challenging then there are red there are things that have a deadline and then there are uh, green that is like uh, fun but uh, challenging you need to is not passive active fun let's say then we have uh, we can see by things that we have completed and to type so the type that uh, we can type our uh, inbox are like important stuff uh, 
usually important stuff are things that have a deadline you really need to remember to doing it and then there is birthday task event stuff or like random thing that you you want to add to your task manager so maybe you want to remember to play the guitar or something like that and then we have uh you can see all okay you can see all you can see if there is a day and the salt with grid so basically you have uh what you you do is for example i'm going to buy energy and i say that i feel kind of energetic today so maybe i have you know i have to do the laundry and so what i do is grab this and move to boring but necessary so this is going to move to the active zone and we can just maybe we also want to do the dishes and then we can toggle this so we won't see any additional task we can focus on the task that we choose to to do and you can click to complete okay it's going to be shown and if you uh, add too many things so maybe you um, you realize that you uh, you do the laundry and you realize you have no more energy to do the dishes or something like that you want to reschedule so what you're going to do is to move this from boring but necessary so active to later so we're going to move that and you're going to see that it's going to move and if you want to we don't want to see this okay we click for later it's going to be uh, moved to uh the inbox so this is kind of handy and then there is the don't forget section so basically i previously say that all these database boring for later inbox don't forget are the same database but filtered in different way so basically this section is your like agenda because it is going to show up the event task or appointment that you may have for the uh today tomorrow or within this week so maybe you want to see the things that are going to uh, have a deadline to it so basically you see that there is a deadline then there you can complete it and you have the priority that is high so you can you this is going to be auto populated so you can if you add a uh, um, a reminder okay with a date so for example call the insert you're going, you're going to it is going to show up automatically here and uh, we can also add uh, a, a task that we don't forget directly from there and this is the today plan the daily planner and we see in other videos thank you